I'm Markus Huber. I lead a research group on the interface of experimental and theoretical quantum communication. We work on entanglement detection and certification. For continuous variables and these high dimensional systems, you have to do that in quite a different way than if you just have zero and one, these binary systems. Examples for high dimensional degrees of freedom are the time of arrival, the energy, uh, also the orbital angular momentum of a photon can be used to represent these degrees of freedoms. In the lab, we don't have access to all the um, information we need to certify those high degrees of freedom. And therefore, we need to come up with a clever way of uh, certifying keys, so making most use of the information we have available. What we're trying to do is to send individual particles of light, photons, across the turbulent Viennese sky. And this process is full of fundamental theoretical and technological challenges that we try to address here. We have to control that we really have only two photons, right? Many times more pairs of photons are created. We also can create more pairs and eventually even continuous modes of light that we could use for applications are also for the fundamental understanding of light interactions and correlations, right? We know from theory work that high dimensions are very advantageous to fight against noise. So imagine a two-dimensional system represented by two cups where you encode the information by putting a ball either in one or the other cup. Then the high dimensional system would be various cup. The white noise that destroys our information is sand that you pour into this cup. So if you put the equal amount of sand into these two cups, the ball will be covered super fast. But if you spread the same amount over a lot of cups, then you still have more time to actually see where the ball is and therefore the information encoded uh, stays safe from this white noise. I love solving puzzles. I wanted to do it as a job and I wanted to do it with people that I find exciting and uh, here I get to do all of that. One approach that we have as a group is to give everybody the freedom to explore their own scientific curiosities. And everyone is welcome here to ask the question and to build things together. That's fantastic. We are the Huber Group and we quit physics. <laughs>